what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have a premiere date for halloween kills and when we should expect to hear our first word of mouth on how the film is received critically from those in attendance and this is going to be having a world premiere halloween kills that being will have a world premiere at the venice film festival out in italy so this is coming from deadline who's reporting this halloween kills will be having its world premiere at the venice film festival on the date of september 8th that festival runs from september 1st to september 11th now also at this event festival right before the screening of the world premiere of halloween kills jamie lee curtis will be being honored by getting the award that's a or she'll get the award for golden line for lifetime achievement um so that's a big honor in her honor for her to be getting that award prior to the film having its premiere date so i know she's looking forward to that so as far as like jamie lee curtis getting that reward when i saw the headline and read what she had to say about it it honestly kind of struck a chord with me just because i've seen so many of her movies and i'm very excited for her to get this award she says that she's incredibly humbled to be or i'll just jump to what she says about halloween so with halloween and her partnership with laurie strode launched and sustained her career and to have these films evolve into a new franchise that is beloved by audiences around the world was and remains a gift italian sim has always honored and heralded the genre that gave me my career so i couldn't be more proud and happy to accept this award from the venice international film festival on behalf of laurie and all of the courageous heroines of the world who stand tall in the face of seemingly unsurmountable obstacles and refuse to yield now we also got an official synopsis about halloween kills that i'll go over later on but yeah jamie lee curtis she's been in so many pro projects over the years um freaky friday my girl i think is another one a fish called wanda she's done so many things she was recently in knives out and we, of course we know her as laura strode from halloween kills halloween 1978 halloween 2 halloween h2o halloween resurrection She's done so many roles that have resonated with audiences over the course of her career since she, I think, first appeared on screen in Halloween 1978. So I know this is going to be an emotional night for her to come so far from a project that was kind of like your breakout role. And now you're getting like a culminating achievement award to recognize your work over the years and what you brought to cinema and what you will always mean to cinema. Um, I don't always agree with some of the things that she says personally about certain topics, but as an actress, she's always going to be one of my favorite actress, actresses, and I'm more than happy for her, and I can't wait to see how she looks when she accepts her award. Can't wait to see the speech that she makes. I'm sure someone will record her speech, and I can't wait to see all the emotions that I'm sure she'll have on stage while accepting that award before the world premiere even of halloween kills which i know is going to make it even emotional make it probably even more emotional for her and i know fans of hers those of you watching this video just fans of her in general are excited for her too but the official synopsis that has come out is saying that minutes after laurie strode her daughter karen and her granddaughter allison left mass monster michael myers cage and burning in laurie's basement laurie is rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries believing she finally killed her lifelong tormentor but when michael manages to free himself from laurie's trap his ritual bloodbath resumes as laurie fights her fights her pain and prepares to defend herself against him she inspires all of haddonfield to rise up against their unstoppable monster the Stroll women join a group of other survivors of Michael's first rampage who decide to take matters into their own hands, forming a vigilante mob that sets out to hunt Michael down once and for all. Evil dies tonight. Well, evil will die tonight per chronological order viewing, but evil won't be dying in October this year tonight. It'll be dying October 2022, I'm assuming, if Michael Myers actually ends up dying which i still I, I i i'm very on the fence about it i'm still i know i've i've given my opinions about it. i don't i kind of wish go wishy-washy with this i'm still not 100 percent convinced that this character will be killed off in halloween ends i want to say that it will happen but i'm not 100 percent sold on it yet we have to see what happens in halloween kills first but we did also get our first look at the myers house too as you see here on your screen this was shared on twitter they did share some interior shots of it too but i'm not going to show all of that um, I'll leave a link to the uh, Twitter kind of found this on Halloween Obsessed. Shout out to you. So this image here, honestly, 
it's very reminiscent of what we saw in the original 1978 film and looking at this image just makes me even more frustrated at the grotesque abomination that we got in halloween the revenge of michael myers look at this house and then remember what we got in halloween revenge of michael myers when you want to defend that representation of the myers house just remember this look at how this looks compared to what you got in halloween 5 it's it's as if there was like no effort in trying to even find a house that resembled the myers house that house looked overly gothic compared to what we saw in the original film so this is a a very welcoming thing to see uh the interior shots of it look fantastic we look like it looks like there's judas room and uh, a setup for judas room which again i theorized that judas room should be where myers dies in halloween ends um a final showdown taking place in halloween kills of course wouldn't wouldn't shock me but Again, the film itself is going to be premiering at this Venice Film International Film Festival on September 8th. And that is where we can expect to hear our first word of mouth about the film. What do I think the reception will be? I think it'll be mostly positive. I'm just I'm just being quite honest. The energy that this film looks like it has and the direct the directing style seems to be fitting with what a lot of to today's modern audience viewers for film would want to see for the general public anyway it's fast paced it look, doesn't look like it's going to be sluggish in any way shape or form other than of course maybe when we're dealing with the more emotional elements of watching these characters interact with each other but overall it seems like this will be a hard-hitting fast-paced uh gut-riching film that will probably leave a lot of us in shock and awe and just mesmerized by how effortlessly it is put together and how effortlessly it is brought to life in its great magical way on the big screen when it comes out for us to the public in October. Now, going back to the Myers house real quick, I think the Myers house, with that image, if I'm not mistaken, this would confirm that we have seen the Myers house in some of the teasers actually and just didn't realize it. Because that house did seem like, with this pumpkin anyway, this looks like this is that house from those teasers with the pumpkin. I may be mistaken on that, but that would confirm that we've actually seen the house in these teasers and just didn't realize it. They might have also already shown it in the trailer that recently came out. Because again, the house that Allison is standing in, we don't know if that's the Myers house or not. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.